Hi there, Mouseketeers. Princess Nitty or Kate here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very special but also scary one for me. And um, I almost feel like it's the first video I've ever posted on YouTube. That was also a very special but scary experience because you think, what if no one wants to watch this? Like, did I just waste my time? Am I crazy for starting something like this? Um, because if you put so much time and effort into something, you want somebody to, to enjoy it. And that's how I feel about today's video. Um, I am wearing one of my favorite shirts in Disneyland. It says best day ever. So I'm like willing that positive energy. And it also features some Minnie Mouse ears on it. I'm wearing one of my favorite pairs of um, wintry Minnie Mouse ears. Not that like plaid is you know, just wintry. You can really wear plaid, you know, anytime you want. But for me, I definitely associate it a little bit more with winter time. Um, so I'm definitely going to be wearing these through like January, February, March, maybe, and then maybe retire them for the season. <laughs> um, can you tell I'm like a little nervous? I feel a little nervous. I haven't felt nervous in front of you guys in a very long time. I'm almost like a little out of breath. <laughs> and not just because I ran around my house collecting things I needed for this video. If you are a returning friend, thank you so much for visiting with me again today. I hope you really liked today's video. Um, I know you'll like the pin part of it, <laughs> regardless of anything else. And if you are a new friend, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up button so I know that you found something you liked here today. And um, I mean, guys, we're just going to jump right on into this and, like, rip off the band-aid. So, uh, I have been getting a lot of requests over the last, especially maybe last month and a half or so, to sell some ears. I make all the ears pretty much that I wear on my channel, except for a few pairs that a few wonderful friends have gifted me. But most likely, if you've liked ears I've worn in a video, I've probably made them. Um, my ears are all, they're not sewn at all. I don't have any kind of sewing skill. I put them together with material and hot glue. But they are very sturdy. They are very sturdy. They are also very thick. They take up pretty much the whole width of a headband. Um, <clears throat> I find them very comfortable. I've worn them in the Disney parks. Zero problem whatsoever. Um, I, yeah, I find them comfortable. I can imagine that people who are used to like a sewn ear with just cotton inside, maybe that's a little smaller. My ears are massive. I like big mouse ears. Um, <laughs> I like them to be seen from a long way away. <laughs> um, I they, like they might be a little on the heavy side to you if you don't, if you've only worn like sew ears, but I actually don't think they're very heavy at all. Um, I use a template but for my bows I always kind of just like make them on a wing and a prayer and so they always turn out a little different but I like that like I've never made two pairs of ears the same and I don't plan on doing that I plan on always just making the ears I like however I like them one thing I do with my ears is I put the same gold trim on the inside of them to the point where my Joanne fabrics that I go to completely sold out of it. I had to buy the last bit that they had and I haven't been able to find it online. So I need to scour some other Joann's and hope that my original Joann's get it back in stock because I really need that gold trim. Anywho, yes, the point of this, you probably know from the thumbnail and from me talking about it a little bit, is that I'm selling a limited number of ears. And uh, I've been sending a lot of ears to friends of mine for some swaps and I think that they've all looked absolutely gorgeous like they're beautiful women and they all looked wonderful and um, people have been reaching out to me about buying a pair for themselves and that really makes me a little nervous <laughs> it honestly does but I also feel like I don't want to ever go through life with regrets of what I haven't tried that's why I started this YouTube channel and to begin with and um, so I started um, a group on Facebook to sell a few pairs of ears. And when I say a few, I do mean that. Um, it's, it's, I'm still working on the last couple of pairs, last couple of bows, because it does make me a very, it totally takes me a very long time to make a pair of ears because I take a lot of pride in them. And um, I, I, I'm just myself working on them. So it takes me a while. And I kind of, I lost my train of thought, friends, but... <laughs> I just I started a Facebook group. I did not start like a whole Etsy shop or anything like that because that just seemed exceedingly complicated to me for something that I don't know if I'm going to stick with because if these don't sell or if I just don't enjoy selling them, um, then I won't continue. Honestly, like these might be the only pair of ears I ever sell. Or next year I might be like, wow, I sold 100 pairs of ears this year. I don't know. I have no idea where this is going to take me at all. I have no expectations. 
Um, the Facebook group that I set up is called Princess Mini Ear Studio, and um, you're welcome to join that. I'm going to put the link for it down below, but you're also welcome to just search it up in Facebook and join. And if, if this becomes a thing, I might make it like a closed group kind of thing. I don't know. I feel like every group I join is closed, and I guess that's so they can kick troublemakers out, but I don't know. <laughs> um, we'll see. I, uh, right now it's just open, and you can join it, and I, I kind of did it the way I like to buy pins. I like to buy pins where someone shows a picture of a pin, they show, maybe they show the back, or if it's a hinge pin, they show the inside, and I'm going to have a picture of the ears, I'll have it from a lot of different angles, so you can kind of see what you're buying, and all you have to do is comment sold. That's it. That's how I like to buy pins. You just put sold, and then they contact you for a, with for the PayPal information, and that's how you'll you know if you want to buy a pair of ears, it will be through PayPal. Um, I really like PayPal personally, um, as as a buyer, so I feel like that makes sense to just keep going with that. And um, yeah, I would just contact you via messenger, and we'd set it up, and I would ship your ears out as soon as humanly possible. <laughs> um, depending on what time you order them. If I can get to the post office that day, I absolutely will. And if I can't, it'll be the next day. So barring any kind of major catastrophes. So, um, yeah. So the ears, there's going to be 10 or fewer pairs. I have most of them done. A few of them are in the last stages of production, last couple of finishing touches. And, um, there's only going to be one of each kind, like there's no pair of ears is going to be exactly the same that's up there, that's up there right now. Like different trim here and there, or maybe like a different bow or a different headband. Um, I do wrap the headbands. One thing I will say is for my own ears personally, that I wear on my videos that I take to the park, I will accept a couple flaws here and there in my ears um, because I made them and I know personally, like if I mess up on the inside of the headband, only I'm going to see that. Who cares? Even if I Instagram them, I Instagram them with the inside showing. I can just strategically place something near it to hide a flaw. And uh, you can, you know, filters do wonders. But when I send my friends pairs of ears, I have a much higher quality standard. Like I made um, Taryn a headband. I wrapped her a headband from the, sh the channel Twinkle Bell Taryn. We did an ear swap a while back, and um, I wrapped a headband. It took me forever. And when I was done, I just was like, ugh. This is horrible. I don't, like, I would wear it. I actually have kept it because maybe I'll actually use it for myself. But, so I'll use it, but it's not good enough for Taryn. And that's pretty much the standard I've applied. That is the standard I've applied for the ears that are on that Facebook group. So if you buy a pair of ears from me, I will only sell you a pair that I really would sell to my nearest and dearest friends. That is my promise to you. Also, I want to um, let you know, if you didn't watch a previous video of mine, that you will also be getting a free authentic mystery Disney pin with your purchase and it's gonna be a pin that I actually think is really nice not just like a pin I have like laying around that nobody wanted to trade with me for like a pin I bought pins specifically for this that I think are very nice and I just think that's like a little nice added mystery cost um, I'm still like at this stage of when I'm filming this video finalizing like shipping and things like that so I have a I'll have a cost listed for each pair of ears they'll probably I think they'll all be the same cost um, I'm not 100% sure at this time what shipping will be. I do want to say that for this first test run, and I'm very, 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 very sorry, all of the information will be for domestic shipping. I don't intend on doing any international shipping. If you're one of my international friends and you're like, hey, I'm dying for this pair of ears, then either I will make it for you in the future, personally, I promise, or I will you know, just go to the post office and find out what the shipping is and you can PayPal me at that time. So we can always work something out if we, if you really, really want to get something now. Um, so cost, honestly, I'm not going under what Disney charges. Disney charges $27 for a pair of ears and I frankly think mine are way better. I I'm just going to be honest. Plus they mass produce those and I take a lot of time to put mine together meticulously by hand and um, I just think they're a lot better, frankly. They're a lot bigger. Um, they're not flat on the sides. I don't, I hate the flatness of Disney manufactured ears personally. And, um, yeah, I think they're more comfortable too. So I'm not going under Disney's price. I just can't. It wouldn't even be worth it for me to sell them at that point. And for me to do this, it has to be financially a little bit rewarding. You know what I mean? Um, I'll make them for free for my friends, but for the world, I'm going to need to, to make a little bit of a profit. <laughs> so I'm not going to be the cheapest ear maker out there. You can, if you want cheap ears, some people on Etsy, my God, I don't know how they can sell a pair of ears for like $18. God bless them. 
I have no clue how they can do it. Like, with the cost of the headband, with the cost of the fabric, with the cost of the trim, with the cost of shipping, with the cost of everything, their labor time, I just don't understand how they can do it, but God bless them. <laughs> it's not gonna be me. But I'm also not gonna be the most expensive person out there. These are not gonna be $70, $60 ears. <clears throat> So if you're interested in that, just go check out the website, join the group, like there's no pressure on you whatsoever to buy anything, anytime. Um, just comment sold if you want something, and the first person to comment sold gets it. Like that's, that's it. So this video is going up at noon, and for all I know, no pair of ears will sell at all, and for all I know, they'll all be sold out by 1pm. I literally have no clue where this is going to take me. I, I think it's probably going to be some kind of happy medium between those two things. Uh, some of the ears are very holiday-ish, and uh, some of them are just wintry, really. So you can still get these by Christmas Day, and um, as long as, you know, USPS does its job and, and gets packages there on time. Um, or you can just get these and, and wear them to the parks in January, and that would be absolutely fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of showcase a few of the pairs for you right now. Not every pair. I'm going to leave a little bit of a surprise, so go check out the Facebook group. And then, for those of you who are not really here for ears, I do have two boxes, my last two, that's it, that's all I'm getting, of the ugly Christmas sweaters. Because there are only one, two, three, four, there's only four pins I actually want from this set. I could, if I had the best luck ever, I could get them today because I'm opening four pins. But, um, yes, you know, the other day I opened them with John and we just did not have good luck. I got two that I did not, well, I got one I kind of liked and I got one I did not care for at all. So I would definitely trade that one, um, if somebody was interested. Um, it was the Snow White sweater. But I also know that these boxes had absolutely horrible, like, um, randomization so the same two pins kept coming in the same two boxes together so I'm super terrified that I'm just going to get those same two pins again and again although I will say this box might be feeling a little bit lighter than this box that could just be completely a trick of perception though I don't know <laughs> so I will do that as soon as I show you some of the ears that I've made to put um, up for sale and really quickly if I've forgotten anything or if you have any questions about purchasing the ears please just let me know in the comments below. On the Facebook group, there's some information as well and rules for the site. Um, if you purchase a pair of ears, I would love to see them on you and you can absolutely feel free to post pictures of yourself wearing the ears that you purchased from me, um, especially if you take them to you know, Magic Kingdom or whatever or Disneyland. But if not, then you could absolutely feel free to just um, post a picture of you wearing them at your house. So like I said, I do not know shipping costs right now. And in fact, I'm kind of estimating it so, for all I know, I might get like, I might um, lose out a little bit on the shipping cost I'm estimating, and therefore, like, this might actually, like, <laughs> I might have, like, if I decide to keep going with this, I might have to adjust costs and shipping prices. I have no idea. I might also be overestimating it, and maybe I can decrease costs. I have no idea right now. I'm feeling like an idiot. I'm feeling like a crazy person. <laughs> I am like I, I just feel like sometimes you have to rip off the band-aid and do it and that's kind of what I'm doing so thank you for like bearing with me and being my friend and not being crazy with me and just like helping me out through this process even if you're not interested in purchasing that's completely okay I totally get it not everybody has the need for a billion Minnie Mouse ears that's just the truth so there's you know no worries there all right but let me show you i have four completely finished pairs of ears i want to show you um and one unfinished pair i'd actually like to show you because i'm just like super excited about them the first pair of ears i want to show you is actually one i'm totally going to make for myself as well i bought enough fabric to make it for myself and it is featuring one of my favorite christmas characters so this this is definitely a christmasy pair it features the grinch and um i'm just obsessed with him and also i kind of feel like this could totally go as well to Universal Studios, especially if you go in like November or December or January when they have like Whoville decorated up for Christmas. Like that would be super fun. I do see people every once in a while wearing Mickey ears in Universal and this would definitely be the pair to wear there for Christmas time in my opinion. And I'm definitely going to make myself another pair. I have another pair of Grinch ears. I think I'm going to do those with a Grinchy bow. Um, this one I did with a red sparkly bow. I did a lot of red sparkly bows this time because I just kind of feel like they're very popular and they're very pretty. So I just kind of like made one and just kept going. <laughs> um, I like making sparkly things personally. And 
all the ears do come, like I said, with that signature gold trim in there. And I will give you a close-up of all of them as well. The next pair is also fairly wintry. It features Mickey and Minnie, or Christmassy, and it features them in various, like, um, holiday activities. And they're both wearing Santa hats. It's so cute. And so this has a little added black trim down here, which I thought was a nice finishing touch. The headband is also the same material, and the bow is also the same material. So this is for if you really like a lot of, like, consistency look in your ears, which I actually usually do. Like, the pair I'm wearing right now is all the whole plaid style. These are just like a pair I made myself, only in reverse. I made a pair for myself that it was um, sequiny here and then plaid in the middle, but I really wanted to see what it looked like the other way, and I'm loving how those are looking on camera. And then all of the ears have trim on the outside. This one has a gold trim, and it also mirrors that down here as well, and in the back, and of course the gold trim there. The last finished pair of ears, again, also has that sequiny bow. This one's a little larger, and it has a different plaid fabric. Um, and this one has a very pretty velvety black trim on the edges. And that um, also, this headband also mirrors the same plaid fabric, which I usually like to do. I usually like to make the headband um, in the same pattern as the ear itself, and then make it like a contrasting bow, because I just feel like that flows super nicely. Like, okay, you rarely see the headband, but when you do, Especially if you like want to Instagram your ears or something like that, or take a cool picture in front of the castle, or if you have really short hair, or you have your hair up, or like I do right now where it's like pushed behind my ear. I don't know, I feel like you really get um, a nice consistent look with the covered headband in the same fabric. And then one pair of ears that I just started and I just got super obsessed with them. This pair right here, you can see that they don't have the bow yet. That's the only, uh, that and the trim inside is the only thing they're missing so far, but I'm loving them. They are black velvet. And then they actually have this really pretty like champagne um, trim all around the ear. And that's gonna have a, a black velvet bow as well. So these might actually wind up being my favorite. And um, some of these you could see are super Christmassy, but some are just like wintry. And like something like this I think could even be like all year round because it's just like classy. So here is that pair. Look, you can kind of imagine what it's gonna look like with a bow, right? <laughs> The front of those plaid ears, I love the sparkle sequiny look. And on the Facebook group, you're gonna get to see close-ups of everything. But again, I would never sell you something that I would not send to one of my dear Disney friends. I probably am gonna have to wind up making something just like this for myself too. I really like this pair a lot. Again, kind of wintry Christmassy, but could really be worn anytime. These I love. I cannot wait to see um, the pair I make for myself, which will all probably have either a red, like a either this kind of bow, or we'll have um, just the Grinchy bow. But I love this pot, this fabric. I was not going to look for Grinch fabric, but I saw it and I was like, yes, need this. And I'm super into this fabric. It. Um, I will have another pair of these ears, but. Um, it won't have this black trim right here as well, but I think it does still have this same bow because I just really really liked how that looked together And here on this one you can see they're like looking at a wreath. They're sipping some hot cocoa on top of presents Um and oh wreath and presents. I guess I just I think there were a few more um, looks on that fabric but I really liked those two the best Okay, so again all the ears will be completely already made you get to see what you're buying from every angle so you know if you like them or not um, and and uh, I don't really have any plans to do anything custom again who knows what the future will bring and um, maybe I'll even get more intricate in the future but again it totally depends on how these sell if they don't sell that's the end of the road probably for me so because it does it really takes up a lot of time a lot of my free time um, and it's fun but it's very time-consuming and, and uh, it takes up a lot of space in my house too which John would kind of prefer not to <laughs> so I'm giving it a shot we'll see how it goes I have two boxes of those um, Christmas sweater pins and uh, I don't know, I'm not feeling lucky after the first two pins that I opened were ones I was not super thrilled about. I'm a little nervous, so if anybody out there watches this video and you want one of these pins and you have one of the ones I want for trade, please let me know because I really only want the ones I'm specifically hunting for. 
So here you can see the box, and I think the box is actually really adorable. And then you can see all 10 pins that you can collect. There are a couple sweater vests, and then a bunch of actual sweaters. And so far the ones I got were the Stitch and Lilo one, Lilo and Stitch one, and the Snow White one. And I really want, like honestly, as long as I get the Mickey one, I'll be happy. That's the only one I'm like dying for. But I really also would like Baymax and Dumbo and Goofy. And then I'm like a little, like I don't really want the Dalmatian, just because I'm like not super into that movie. The Donald's okay, the Cheshire Cat's okay, I'm not into Peter Pan, but it's a, it's a cutish sweater. But I'm really only hunting for Mickey, Baymax, Dumbo, and Goofy. Okay, and then after this we'll also have the advent calendar. I can't believe that we're, we're getting so close to Christmas time. I would say, uh, personal plug, I mean that's what this whole video is about, right? Like a personal plug for me, but um... <laughs> I think ears could be a fun Christmas present for someone too, <laughs> especially if you're telling somebody that you know that they're going to Disney. When we told my nieces that we were taking them to Disney in the summertime, we actually, um, I was having them try on, like this is one of the pairs, I actually was having them try on my mouse ears and, and we were like, <clears throat> Uh, oh, this one looks cute on you. Try that one on. That one looks cute. That one looks good. And then I sat them down and I was like, all right, so now you girls have to tell me which ears you want me to make for you because you're going to need them when we go to Disney World this summer. And they were like, just blank face. I had no idea. The younger one looked at her older sister like, what? And the older one's looking at me like, and I was like, oh my God, what? Oh no, are they not happy? And then they just like, burst into like excited almost tears like they were so happy and my older niece kept being like oh my god no you're lying this is a joke you're lying you can't be serious that's got it that can't be true and the younger one was so excited and jumping around it was just really cool like you how often you get to tell someone they're going to disney for the very first time and uh so yours were a big part of that for me personally okay first sweater i just hope it's not a double of the one from the ones from yesterday because then that probably means the other one will be a double as well i'm just gonna look at it like again it's, i'm all about ripping band-aids right now oh my god this is wonderful it's one of the ones i wanted this is wonderful it's baymax oh my god i wonder if this means i'm gonna have good luck with the second one and there'll be another one that i wanted oh this is so cute i'm definitely gonna show you guys a close-up i did not like this pin when i saw it on the box but then i saw ryan from disney pins blog open it and i realized it was absolutely gorgeous let's see if the second pin is, is equally as wonderful. I think this one's a sweater vest. Could it be goofy? Could it be goofy? That's the sweater vest I want. No, but it is a nice sweater vest and it's, um, John will be happy with this one. It is Donald and Donald is his favorite Disney character and Donald is one of my favorite Disney characters and it's, it is actually super, super cute. It, it has like some weird quality controls, control issues though. There's like a big dip in this, in the side and there's a scratch on the other side. That's a real bummer actually. Luckily this was not one of the ones I like super had my heart set on because the quality on the Baymax is really good. Okay, I think I'm just going to open these two as well. Then um, I'll show you all four sweaters. God, actually, that was wishful thinking. I hope that I have like all unique ones to show you. I hope this is not Baymax and Donald again. Oh, I really want Mickey. I really, really, really want Mickey. I can live without the other ones that I want, but I really, really, really want Mickey. I feel like they both are sweaters. I don't think I have a sweater vest. So that, if I don't have a sweater vest, then, so, oh, darn it, oh no, oh no, it is a full sweater, now I'm scared, I think I probably got a double box, I got Stitch, oh, I think this one is just going to be Snow White again, it is, oh, bummer, super big bummer, I don't even like this pin to start with, all right, so at least I guess it wasn't a double box in the same video. I opened these two with John the other day, um, and I am glad I got Baymax, so I got my second choice at least, but I still am on the hunt for Mickey. I will totally buy him if I see him, um, but I'd rather trade with you guys. So, um, or I'll put these on like a pin trading group. We will see. So these are the second two I opened. You have Snow and you have uh, Lilo and Stitch, and these are very detailed. Um, the Lilo and Stitch one, I, it's okay. I kind of like it. It doesn't look super Christmassy to me, though, is, is my problem. And neither does the other one, frankly, the Snow White one. But if you're a Snow White person, 
there's a lot of cool details there. Um, I personally don't like how it has the, the Seven Dwarves hat colors at the bottom, but I think if you were a dwarf fan, you would really like that. Here's the Donald pin. Can you see the terrible quality control? Like here's like a dip in the actual pin itself, and then here's a scratch. I wanna see like how far away do I have to go so I can't tell. Maybe like this far away? Huh, that is, that's a real bummer because I would not trade this to someone, um, but I don't know if I wanna keep it either. That's a real bummer. But ending on a super positive note, I got this Baymax. And at first, the reason I didn't like it is I thought it was just an all white sweater with just Baymax's eyes because the details are like impossible to see on the back of the box. But no, you have all those cute snowflakes um, on the sleeves and you have ba -la, 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 la along the bottom. So it's actually super festive. And I really, really like this one. If I couldn't get Mickey, this is the one I wanted. And at least I know I'm in very good company um, with those pins because everyone had a horrible opening of those pins. I don't think anybody got like the one they really wanted, um, pretty much, at least unless they bought a bunch of boxes. Like, luck was not on people's sides with the ugly sweaters. It just wasn't. Um, hopefully luck will be on my side with the advent calendar. We are getting dangerously close <laughs> to the end here, and that is cool, but also a little sad, because I've been really enjoying the process, even if I've been getting pretty bad luck. It's a super big pin, super hefty. I think it's a Toy Story pin. And so, so far I have a couple of O-Peeps. I have Buzz, Woody, and Wheezy. I'm still hunting for my Toy Story aliens, so they'd be super cool to get. I wouldn't mind getting Bullseye. I'm trying to think of who else is in that set. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see who's in here. Rex, ooh, maybe I'll be Rex. It's a yellow one. God, I just hope it's not Bo Peep, because <laughs> I already have three Bo Peeps. Two I opened here, one I traded for a long time ago, is the only pin I ever got from that set before this um, advent calendar. All right, let's see. No, whoa, buddy. It is the worst pin in the set, though. It is, this was, this is not good luck. I hope this is, this is not a good luck day. I hope this is not indicative of, like, no one's gonna go and look at the ears and, like, they won't sell and they'll just be sad, but... It's the prospector, and I just don't like him at all. Like, because of him and his storyline, I don't really care for Toy Story 2 at all. I like 1 and 3, the, like, much better than 2. Uh, my god, I don't like this pin. <laughs> I would be perfectly happy, happy not completing this set and just leaving him out. So, uh, he'll probably be a traitor, and hopefully someone loves him, or someone just wants to complete the whole set and really needed the prospector. There he is, all the way bottom middle helping me complete my advent calendar pin board. All right, guys, not such a lucky video, but I'd love to hear what you think about those ugly sweaters down below. Of course, I'd like to hear what you think about the ears. Um, and I'm just kind of uh, nervously excited, I guess about this whole process. So thank you to anyone who's going to check out that Facebook group. I really appreciate you just checking it out. And um, I really hope that you have a wonderful day and that your Christmas season is going along nicely. Um, give a thumbs up to this video just uh, to make me feel a little bit better about that bad luck. <laughs> That'll make me feel a lot better if I see a few thumbs up. It'll make me feel like people really were like trying to, to make me feel better. <laughs> um, man, and the darn prospector at the end. Just not my guy, not my vibe. I cannot seem to get those darn Toy Story aliens. Ah, I hope, I hope. Fingers crossed that they'll they'll be coming to me soon. I would even take like 10 of those pins. I would be so excited if I got doubles of that pin because, you know, there's a lot of aliens. You could just have them all over your Toy Story board, you know? Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to see you real soon.